Welcome to Tuttle Talk on 1190 AM. Now, live in studio, your host, local real estate expert, Andy Tuttle. Good morning, Dallas, and welcome to Tuttle Talk on the Real Estate Radio Network, where we teach you what the rich and the banks do, not what they tell you to do, and where we dispel the myth conceptions of financial wellness and the local real estate market and show you how focusing on a few principles really will help you spend more time on the things that are most important to you in your life, like your friends, your family, and the community. It's the most important hour of radio every Saturday right here on Clear Channel 1190 KFXR in the great state of Texas. I am your host, Andy Tuttle. So glad to have you here with us. Thank you for joining me. You can reach us at 214-736-9696. That's our off-air number, 214-736-9696. Or you can email me at questions at andytuttle.com. You can also become a fan of the show. That would be fun. We'd like that. At facebook.com forward slash Tuttle Talk. And you can listen to this online at dfw1190am.com or on your iHeartRadio app. Also, we have a pretty awesome giveaway uh, we're doing this month. So text to 72727. You want to text Andy T to 72727. So get out your phone, put in 72727, and then just click down in the comments and type in Andy T, and you will be entered to win a free month of electricity. That's pretty awesome to be honest with you. That'll save you a lot of money. So enter that, text that number, 72727, and enter to win. I just got back from Mexico, so I may be a little bit coffee, but you'll just have to deal with that. I, I, it was great time, beautiful weather, but uh, I come back and I have a little bit of a cough and a little bit of a, I guess you would call it a, a vacation hangover. I don't know what else to call that, but uh, I will uh, struggle, power through. I struggled so hard on the beach for a week in the beautiful sun. It was tough work, but I did it for you. And for my wife, you're welcome, sweetie. This has been a very busy week in the industry. It's actually been a very busy week here in America in general. And we are going to talk to two real estate experts, fantastic ladies, actually, uh, pros at what they're doing and some of the top agents in the market, in the DFW market. And they're going to show you how to uh, buy and sell. We're going to get to that later in the show. We're going to get to the word on wealth here uh, with our good friend Randy Nichols here shortly as well. Dallas every week. It's going to happen. I was so pumped up for that. It just gets me going every time. You are listening to Tuttle Talk on the Real Estate Radio Network right here on 1190 AM KFXR. I am your host, Andy Tuttle. You can reach us at our off-air number, 214-736-9696, or become a fan of the show at facebook.com forward slash Tuttle Talk. And also you can text, don't forget, text 72727. And text Andy T to that number. So text Andy T to 72727, and you'll be entered to win a free month of electricity. That is super exciting. I am joined now by two very successful, very lovely ladies here, in, and they actually uh, work in office out of South Lake. Is that correct? That is, that's N- correct. Nicole, welcome to the show. Thank you. Carol, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you so much for being here. Okay. Let's get into this. What did you lovely ladies do before you got into the crazy game of real estate? Carol? I was uh, working on my master's degree and um, was a marketing director in the cellular industry and had a brilliant idea to get into real estate instead. Wow. So you were just, you did, were you just getting bored? You're like, this is not for me? Is that what happened? A change of location and a great time to start up a new business. And no. that was 16 years ago. Seems like a, a million years ago, but just 16. <laughs> well, that is true. So were you in, where were you at? Where'd you live before? Uh, in Dallas and then moved around quite a bit and came back because it's, this is the best place to be. It's true. Good point. That's good. That's very true, Carol. Nicole, what about you? I was in pharmaceutical sales before I got into the real estate business. Now I'm a fifth generation Texan. Yes. So Yes. So land ownership is a big deal to our family. That's right. And understanding that that we can secede if we need to is part of your generation, too. We're part of your fifth generation as well. We're the only state that will be able to do that, by the way. So get ready. Don't mess with Texas in more ways than one. All right. So, Nicole, wait. So then how did you get started in the business then? Same thing? Same kind of scenario, just seeking more freedom and flexibility as I had two small children at the time. And just wanted to to have a career with no limit of helping the people that needed my services. That is a beautiful thing about real estate, isn't it? You can really, uh, the sky's the limit. You make what you're worth, and you get an opportunity to really help people. 
Did you find that when you went into real estate? I'm just curious. Do you even remember how that first year was? Was it because that was 16 years ago? So that's the middle of the 90s, right? Mm -hmm. So this, that was a whole different type of market. True. To sure. Totally different set of tools to yep. use to not only to market the properties that we are interested with selling, but also the buyers. I mean, that was pre-internet, pre-realtor.com. Right. And so the, the, a lot of more responsibility at that time was on us actually finding the property. Right. Today, that's the easy part. Ooh. Just uh, people can find it on their own. They've got the app on their phone where they can pull it up, all the details at the curb. And so they don't necessarily need us to find the house, but certainly what we do today is totally different than what we did 16 years ago. Okay, so let's dig into that because I, I actually had a, I had a little question written down about that. But, you know, most people think that that is the biggest piece. They haven't changed. Like, well, I can find the home on my own now. What do I need an agent for? I don't need to pay an agent, right? Oh, finding the, the, finding the exact home is just the tip of the iceberg. We could drive by and find a great home where the – the professional realtor comes in is working out the repairs, negotiating the contract, and taking it all the way through the 30 or 45 days until we get to closing. There's so many things that could fall apart, and that's where your professional realtor really comes in handy. I uh, I totally agree with you there, by the way, because so many times, let me just talk about, we're going to just, I was actually going to talk about sellers first, but since you brought it up, we're going to go buyers because I don't <laughs> like it. Be flexible. I, on my side, when clients get like this and they, hey, we do our best to have them work with an agent, because what we say to them is if you don't work with an agent that does their job brilliantly, it's very difficult for us to do ours brilliantly. And honestly, what happens is you, you, you suffer. You are the one, you the homeowner are the one that has a bad experience, that is stressed out, that doesn't know what to do. I'm talking about the contract wasn't done right. They don't actually know the right place to close. They don't know about any of the things going on in that process. And they think, and you think you do, but you don't. And you don't find that out until you get to closing in on us. What happens is, you know, the homeowner, you ask us, hey, can you help me with the contract? Can you do this? Well, there's limited things what we can do. And there's limited uh, responsibility that the title company can take. And so without a realtor that can help you with all of that part of the process, which is a lot more now. That's the thing, like you talked about, right, Nicole and Carol? That weight went from finding the home now to all the regulation and all of the pitfalls that can happen during the process, right? Absolutely. Very true. So, Carol, speaking of buyers in this marketplace, what should a buyer be looking for right now? You know, there's three things that differentiate at home. It's location, price, and condition. And so the buyer has to find the right mix of, of those three things, not only for what's going to suit their needs for their family today, but what is going to sell five or 10 years from now. And we get a, a call maybe from that same buyer five years from now. They say, I got transferred to California. I have to go this month and I want to take my family and kids with me now. If they bought the right house in the beginning, they can go ahead and, you know, probably have a quick sale if they did not and cheated one of those three items in the beginning to find maybe a great deal. Who knows what's going to happen when they go to sell down the road? Okay, so that's interesting because so back years ago, of course, way before the 2011 financial crisis when we saw the big, ever since we've seen kind of the bubble pop, that wasn't really a concern. A lot of locations, oh, I just want to find the house that has all of this for me, this pool and this size home and this size, right? But now you're saying that you it really is something that you need to focus on is, hey, is this going to be sellable? Absolutely. Not everything does sell. You'd be surprised when we look at the true statistics of what homes are listed and what really sell. As you look at your probability of sale, it's really not what you might expect. It's more about a 50-50. And, uh, you know, at a lower market, you might have even less than a 50% chance of getting your home to sell. Okay, so location. And you look at that, and everyone gets that location, location, location. You hear all the time, right? But what's one of the things that determines a good location is, and this is actually in the investment world too, is there one big job? Like if you lived in Richardson 10 years ago or so, and you lived right next to TI, and then it went down, all those houses vacated, right? And so you had foreclosures and the market went down. So are there multiple jobs that are bringing in business and buyers into that area? So there's one of the factors, location, good schools, right? What else helps you determine a good location? Those are the two main ones I know, right? 
Ingress and egress is important, what you drive by on the way to get somewhere. Mm, very good. It's also important to have your professional that works for you do a full analysis. Very few people really want to be that big house in the neighborhood. So what you see in a vacuum that you love online and you go in and it's beautiful until you compare it to the spectrum of what else is going on in that community, it may or may not be the best deal. It may look like the best price per square foot, but relative to other things in the area can certainly be a consideration you need to take under advisement. That is a very good point. Real quickly, price versus cost. You can have the lowest price, but it could cost you the greatest because you get the lowest price on the house. But like you said, the cost of living in that area, the fact that it doesn't have good ingress, egress, doesn't have a good location, doesn't have good jobs, it's not sellable. So the Absolutely. cost later. Okay. So there was it was a location. It was the price, of course, is a component. And did you say something else, Carol? We also talked about condition a little bit, mm. that there's condition is there's so many things that go into that, the outside, the interior, the updates. You know, we always suggest to our sellers that they do a little bit of updating every year rather than wait until they go on to the market because your realtor may come over to your house and in suggest a $25,000 improvement be made before you put it on the market. But if you kept up with that condition as you went along, as you were a homeowner, you're all set when you go to sell. And we never know in the volatile market that we are when that transfer call is going to come in. Okay, that's good. Here's another question I get a lot. People think now that you don't have to have a local real estate professional anymore. Maybe you can just get someone, your, uh, maybe either your aunt that lives down in Houston, or because it's all about looking online and all this, because it's the same problem. But what, do you, what is your take on needing a local real estate professional? I think that is priceless. And, 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 of course, the best way to find that is to connect with folks that you already know and relate well to in your immediate market to find out who is going to be able to serve you best, who's up to date on what's going on in that community, who can advise you what kind of factors are going to be involved in selling. It's really easy to take pictures and take measurements and write up some adjectives like fantastic and fabulous. <laughs> but at the end of the day, there are other things going on that you can't always tell if you're not actively on a full-time basis connected with what's going on in those immediate communities. You know, in our area and in this whole Dallas-Fort Worth area, it's not always real obvious when you go from one community to the next or one school district to the next. And so it's those vari those variables make a huge difference, not only in the value of the home, but the market marketability of that home. Hmm. So if you're working with someone that's not intimately aware of what's going on right then, you very well could be either A, leaving money on the table because you're not asking enough, or you may be setting yourself up to be very disappointed because what that expectation would be based on that agent's perspective is not real with what's going on where your home is located. You're listening to Tuttle Talk here on the Real Estate Radio Network. You can reach out to us at 214-736-9696. And if you're a buyer right now, we want to get you connected with Nicole and Carol, Nicole Smith and Carol Russo, two real estate experts in the South Lake area. And so if you are a buyer right now looking at trying to figure out the best way to buy, the best steps to take to go buy in this marketplace, call us, 214 214- 736-9696, and we will get you connected with these two ladies. Nicole, do you have an example of n the difference between needing a, uh, a local real estate expert, like where if they didn't have one, maybe they didn't know the area or anything like that? I think the most obvious one that comes to mind recently is minerals have been a very important factor, mineral rights have been a very important factor in Tarrant County and the other 16 counties in the Barnett Shale. That's not prevalent necessarily in Dallas County. So even though a Dallas agent conceivably could get in their car and drive across the airport, they don't always know the factors that are most critical to what's going on right there. So the agent or the, the client that they're representing is somewhat at a disadvantage because they don't have access to the information that the same agent who's very much involved in that community could share. Well, you know, that's interesting. Like Texas, they don't know. So are you telling me that have you had ever had an agent that has been out there on one side of the transaction or the other and just found out, oh, and didn't know that there were mineral rights issues? You'd be surprised. <laughs> and there's many, just not mineral schools and issues between school districts. A certain neighborhood is split between two school districts. That can happen any place. Uh, any county, any any city has um, boundary disputes. And if you're working with an agent who's not aware of that, it could definitely affect your value of your home, what school you go to. Yeah, that that's, uh, that's so true and so important. That's another reason why we don't like to work with part-time agents, just because they don't know 
there's so many changes all the time now in the laws and everything else and the mineral rights in certain areas and all the issues that come up that you need to have an expert. It's the bottom line. Don't, you know, you get what you pay for. You wouldn't go to a discount doctor to go check on your health problem, right? Well, don't do the same. Don't do that. Don't do a, do a discount person for your finances and definitely don't do, do a discount uh, person for your real estate because that's going to cost you. You're not going to find out till five years later and you're going to be underwater just like a lot of people are because you didn't listen. And that's why we bring uh, great agents every week like Nicole and Carol on this show because you need to deal with an expert. That's another reason, speaking of experts that people don't think about is title companies because you have to have a good person that understands title, understands how to clear title. Hello, you got to have clear title or you're going to be in a world of hurt later on and you need experts that can make that process easy that have extra follow-up and technology to make this process as a team there's 27 people on average working on any individual transaction such a big component of that is title that's why we use fidelity title because they make our lives easier and help us give the memorable and enjoyable experience to our clients day in and day out and it's just what this is all about is doing that so uh, i, I want to switch nicole to uh, sellers now is this a seller's or a buyer's market right now? That is a great question. And really, the only way to answer that is to do a, an in-depth analysis on the individual home. Now, as a whole, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, our market peaked here in 07, declined a little bit in 08 and 09, and it's been pretty flat in 2010 and 2011. But 2012 is just rocking. We are year to date up 16% in demand. So our demand is up 16%. The supply of inventory, the supply of homes available down 22%. Mm. So as that funnel continues to expand that difference between the supply and the demand, there's going to be that feeling of scarcity. Right. So far, we haven't really experienced a lot of recovery as far as the prices that we saw in 2007, although we're getting there. Right. But certainly as these trends continue, we anticipate and we hope that we've already been at the trough. Right. And so now is just such a great time to buy with interest rates so low, the ability to get the mortgage financing. We highly, Carol and I both highly encourage our clients to get fully pre-approved with so smart. an incredible mortgage company like yours, specific, you. specifically yours, be, <laughs> because that's so valuable to us to help the clients that we serve get the best deal they can. And now really is the time to do that. Nicole, that is very important. And I, we don't have time this time. I have to bring you back to talk about some of those uh, things you brought up. But it is so important to get pre-approved before you have the clock ticking on a contract. There's ways to improve your score to get a better interest rate. There's ways to find out things you didn't know about to make sure you get the house and, and your, all your finances are in place so that you set this up where the debt works for you and not you work for it and that you get the home that you really want um, and get it a, a great deal. So on sellers, staying on that. There are some things, you guys call it sell versus sit, right? There's some ways you can help your house sell versus sit, right, Carol? Absolutely. A staging is very important. Uh, as realtors, we bring in a, a stager uh, free of charge to our clients. It's just so important that the house look like a product. You know, when that sign goes in the yard, your house becomes a product, just like a, a box of Cheerios on the shelf. Make Wait, sure you buy that house. You had a marketing background. Absolutely. So I can see this. So repeat that again. <laughs> that's just how I. That's how I'm programmed. That is such. That is nobody says that. That is great. Say that again. Your house is a product. So your home is what you live in 24/7 until that sign goes in the yard. Now you're a product on the shelf. So when we have a buyer in a certain price point, there might be seven other homes that that buyer could look at. What what is it that's going to make your home stand out to be the next contract that comes up? Because we may have two homes in a certain price range a month that sell. Let's make sure that yours is the one. That is huge. Now, I just we're short on time, but Nicole, could you take 30 seconds? Because, you know, you, you work with buyers. You work with sellers. You're hearing this today. They have fantastic tools and an understanding of how to help you sell right at the right price and sell quickly. And they do that because they understand how this market works. And they understand marketing. But they also understand how to help you buy. What I need to hear now is that you don't stop there. That's the short time, but also post-closing, you do something that I have not heard any other realtor 
Culture do. Can you just briefly tell us what that is? The main thing that Carol and I do is we take care of the clients we serve before, during, and after the transaction. So as long as Carol and I have both been in this business, the majority of our business is from past clients and referrals from those folks. So we keep in touch with them on a regular basis. We convey this market information to them. We make ourselves available as a resource to people so that if they need anything having to do with home ownership, whether it's maintenance or improvement, or for that matter, the healthcare professionals that we recommend, people know that we're connected within the community and we make a special point of really getting to know the people we refer business to so that when you call us, we're not just sitting down at our computer and pulling somebody up out of right. out of thin air. We're referring people to our people that we have personal relationships with. That is huge. No one does that. Most of them just give you a vendor's list. We do something very similar on our end. The first agents that we've met that do it on their end, they are a resource for you. You want to use them. Call us at 214-736-9696 so we can get you in touch with Nicole and Carol. Ladies, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having us. You bet. My pleasure. Okay. You're listening to Tuttle Talk. I hope you've enjoyed this hour. We are yet again out of time, mostly because I don't know how to not talk, and I just can keep going long. But I have to tell you that really quickly, I did extend the bet with my wife, so I bought myself another month to lose another 12 pounds. Of course, I had to double the risk. I'll tell you about that later. You can email me about it. But either way, if I lose this bet, I am in big trouble. Don't forget to go to yourmortgagereview.com. Take five minutes, complete that, find out if you can save money on your home. It's a no-cost loan that we would structure. And, of course, it's no obligation to fill that out. We can find out if we can save you money. People do it every week, and we do uh, save you money every week. Text Andy T to 72727, Andy T to 72727, and get entered to win a free month of electricity. How awesome would that be? You want to do it, make sure you text that number. If you'd like to discuss anything related to today's topics with me directly, call the show's off-air number, 214-736-9696. Next week, I'm going to have two very special real estate experts in the East Dallas area. They also happen to be my mom and dad. Oy vey. You're a brave soul. I I am a brave soul. I hope we get through the week and survive the show. It could get nutty. I would like to thank Lee Hilton, Randy Nichols, and my very special guests, Nicole and Carol, for joining me today. I'd also like to thank Danny Miles, our patient production director, and the entire family here at KFXR. That's it for today. Race Talk is coming up next. This is Andy Tuttle for the Real Estate Radio Network. We'll be back here next Saturday at 11 o'clock. Save the station, and thank you for listening to Tuttle Talk, where we're making financial intelligence a priority in our community. Have a great weekend.